G'day everyone, Grand Tour here again for another 1v1 uh, tournament battle. This time it's uh, Xanthippus from the Zervi clan, my clan, up against uh, Monstro das Borutes from the SH clan. <laughs> I reckon I said that right then, for once. Uh, and in this tournament, the rules were uh, max 4 melee, which is interesting, uh, 6 skirm cav, and max 10 cav total. So. We'll uh, go over Xanthippus uh, build first, and he's got the heavy horse, so he's got four heavy horse. In his front line he's got the uh, Levy Freeman, shitload of them. In his middle line he's got the Spear Nobles, interesting choice. Uh, Spear Noble General, and his gen skill is uh, Battle Rhythm and Second Wind. So yeah, I'm not sure about the Spear Nobles, never used them myself before, so it's going to be new to me what they can do on the battlefield. Um, for his sword contingent, he's got the Naked Warriors out the back, then he's got the Chosen Swordsman. And uh, yeah, three Slingers as I said there, so pretty good build for the uh, rules. We'll see how it serves him. And uh, for Monstro, he's got the Celtic Slingers, so three of them. Then he's got the Levy Freeman out the front. Some Spear Brothers. Uh, for his cave contingent, he's got the Mighty Horse, three of them. And he's got a couple of Noble Horse there too. Very dangerous unit when used properly. Uh, for his Sword contingent, he's got the Yosworn, uh, Fierce Sword, and another Fierce Sword over here, and another Fierce Sword. So, pretty strong sword build. He's got some more Spear Brothers on the flank over here, and then some uh, Levy Freeman. So that's going to be uh, interesting to see how the uh, Spear Nobles handle the Fierce Swords and the, and the Oswarm. But uh, for these rule sets, like I said, I think it might be pretty good. And for uh, Monstro's Gen Skill, it's got the Battle Rhythm and Second Wind as well, so that'll be great for the Oswarm up against all these spears. Should go quite well. Also, Monstro's got the uh, Germanic Scout Riders out the back, two of them. So they should be uh, quite interesting. Threatening the back line there. Especially with these uh, naked swords, they will get shot up if uh, they cop a few uh, Germanic Scout Rider volleys, which is happening right now. So you can see them ticking down. So on this left flank, the Spear Brothers come in for the uh, Noble Spears, but they're blocked by the Naked Warriors, so that's going to hurt them a fair bit. And the Spear Nobles up against the uh, Fierce Swords. You can't see that going too good. Some more Fierce Swords chucked in the fray against the Naked Warriors and backed up by the Spear Brothers as well. So. It's going to be very interesting to see what comes out on top. But uh, the Naked Warriors absolutely handing them Spear Brothers their ass on a platter. Ripping them right apart real quick. So it was a good move there by Xanthippus. Yeah, he's coming around for a flanking charge with the Spear Nobles as well. Good charge in here with the Mighty Horse onto Levy Freeman. That's going to hurt them. So Xanthippus uh, sees the heavy horse, an opportunity to bring them in to get the Celtic Slingers moving backwards and they're getting shredded by the uh, other Celtic Slingers as they're moving backwards there. The Fierce Swords coming in for the Spear Nobles over here. These Fierce Swords are, look like they're going to waver soon, getting uh, torn up by the Spear Noble Naked Warrior combo there. So out in this flank, the uh, Noble Horse Rips the Levy Freeman apart in one charge. Loses stuff all men. So, Levy Freeman get crunched by uh, a good cav charge. So, if you can get a good cav charge on them, it'll take away their um, meat shield, which is always handy. You get rid of the old meat shield. So, this flank, the right flank for uh, Xanthippus, uh, looks pretty good here. Fear Sword's getting a bit uh, killed by the Spear Nobles. Already the Spear Nobles are up over 100 kills, so they're going quite well in this battle. Surprised me. Yeah, Spear Nobles are coming in for the uh, Noble Horse. 
Noble Horse gets a bit stuck on him, so it's not going to be good, good for them. He wants to get them out as quick as possible. His flank's looking uh, all but stitched up over here. Naked Warriors putting the herd on the fierce swords. Spear Nobles starting to chase after the uh, Mighty Horse. The unit card is back here, but the Mighty Horse is over there. <laughs> Sticky bloody units. Unbelievable, aren't they? So now here comes the, uh, the big tank itself, the Oath Sworn. It's going to come in uh, for the Levy Freeman of all choices. I think you go for something a bit stronger like the uh, Spear Nobles, but if you can get them off the field quick, it might be alright. So now we can uh, have the overview and see that um, Xanthippus has this right flank all bit stitched up and he's about to come in now and overwhelm Nervii. So the Noble Horse come in now for the kills on the uh, Spear Noble. Good charge, but uh, Spear Nobles look like they're going to take that out fine and come in for the Oathsworn. He hasn't lost a man yet and does have a fair few kills on the Levy Freeman butt. So uh, it is Levy Freeman. Naked Warriors doing some good work out here. He was about, about to get charged. The Spear Noble's going to relieve him, but so still got a good charge in. And did do some uh, serious damage on him. So that was a good move there with the Noble Horse, but you could see they were very slow. Noble Horse started to slow considerably, you know, considerably uh, slower cav than any other cav there, especially when they got a little bit of tiredness. I think that's their main fault, is the uh, how slow they go. So the Ace Warns hit the uh, battle rhythm and headhunt and gets its uh, melee attack and melee weapon damage right up there. So I can chew through the spear nobles, but there's one thing that's going to go against them, and that's the Celtic Slingers shooting them in the rear. So that's going to hurt them real bad. I want to get the hell out of there. Either um, turn around and start heading towards the Celtic Slingers. But, uh, the spear nobles are stopping that, but they could have charged in there. He could probably rip that no, uh, the ice worn off there. So, uh, yeah, he's starting to move it now. These two Celtic Slingers combined fire are just melting that Ace Sworn, so it's not looking good there. Down on this flank, the uh, Spear Noble General continues to surprise me. Getting some really good kills and uh, taking out the damage excellently. So, 252 kills, holy shit. Definitely do surprise me in this battle. I thought they'd. Uh, not do very good against the Fear Swords, but it looks like in combined, um, combined with the Naked Warriors, they uh, they do quite well. So Noble Horse coming in for rear charge. A bit of a broken charge there. Isn't going to do too much at all. The uh, Spear Nobles just going to keep moving on their way. Now they're going to turn around and lock this uh, Noble Horse right up with another Heavy Horse and Spear Noble there. Getting some good shots off with the Celtic Slingers, but um, as you can see now, it's just too much on the field for Averni. Xanthippus has uh, played a very good game, using these Naked Warriors to their best ability, getting the clean charges, and um, backing them up with the Spear Nobles. About to get a little bit hurt here, but they've done their job, 217 kills. Bloody excellent job, so. The Ace Sworn now, starting to run away. It's getting shot still. I just don't think it can do uh, much more killing. A well, good recharge in here with the Germanic Scout Riders. Cleans up the Celtic Slingers. That's going to relieve the Ace Sworn a bit. But um, nothing to back them up really, the Ace Sworn. They're up against a uh, Spear Noble and a nearly three quarter unit of uh, Chosen Swordsmen. So, yeah, they're not going to go too good in that engagement there. So the uh, Germanic Scout Riders come in again for the Celtic Slingers. Good charge, going to get some good kills. Heroic last stand by uh, 
monster right here. But he's generally by its dust. And the uh, spear nobles win the day. VIPs. Very good battle. So this was the uh, semi-final of the Flash tournament. And uh, this is the best game out of three. And uh, Xanthippus uh, won another battle. So he's through to the finals. So I'll bring you that game at a later date. And um, next I'll show you the semi-finals from the other side of the bracket. And then um, then the final match after that between Xanthippus and the other winner of the semi-final. So good game by Monstro. Just put this, whatever his name is. <laughs> Uh, played very well. Uh, congratulations getting the semi finals. Got some good kills there, as you can see. And uh, nearly the same amount of kills. So it was just the army composition of uh, Xanthippus that won the day for him. And VIPs, definitely these uh, Spear Nobles, 289 kills. Absolutely astounding. I can't believe it. Anyway, I didn't think they were that strong, but as I said before, the, the rules suit having a strong spear because you can only have uh, four of the swords. Heavy horse, uh, doing a good job here, 128, yep, 40, 39, considerably uh, good job, not too bad. Uh, Chosen Swords, 167, bloody excellent. Uh, Slingers, all doing some great work there. Uh, 113 kills for the uh, Levy Freeman, always good to see them get over 100. Uh, 40, not bad. Uh, Naked Warriors, 74, 217 and 225. Bloody excellent. So, uh, very strong unit when used properly, but as soon as they take a couple of slinger fires, they're a bit wrecked, but he uh, kept them out of the out of the uh, way of the skirmish and got some great kills with them. Spear Nobles. These ones doing an okay job and uh, another 166 kills here. Bloody excellent. Yeah, so, very surprising. Um, for uh, Monstro, general 200 kills, but uh, didn't get quite the right engagements, but uh, still got the kills. Uh, these Germanic Scout Riders, bloody excellent, 125, 180. Bloody good job, used to uh, perfection. And uh, Mighty Horse, all getting a few good kills, 121 for that, good. 207 and 182 for his noble horse, doing some good work there. Uh, Slingers, doing some great work, 93 kills there, excellent. Uh, Fierce Swords, some good kill, 137, 131, uh, 130 for Levy Freeman, bloody excellent, good job. Uh, these Spear Brothers are the one that let uh, Monstro down, I think. They um, didn't perform at all and got really hurt by the uh, naked warriors there, so. But um, maybe some more Levy Freeman, <laughs> by the looks of them kills, <laughs> would have probably been better. Um, yeah, probably too much cav as well against a heavy spear army. So yeah, oh, very good game. And congratulations, uh, Xanthippus, making it to the uh, finals. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the battle. I'll talk to you soon.